Hello YouTube viewers, hope everyone is doing well. This video is about how to implement structured logging using Serilog in ASP.NET Core API. But before we implement Serilog, let's talk about why logging is important. Logging is important for the following reasons. Logging provides breadcrumb trail for activity leading up to an event. The event can be good or bad. Logging can help supplementing exception information recorded in other systems. Logging can help understand how clients are using our application or API. Logging can record application matrix. What is structured logging? In older systems, log messages were simple strings. You could not use them for any kind of analysis. Structured logging is a modern approach where logging events are treated as structured data rather than just text. The difference between structured logging and string logging is the attributes identified and structured so that a system that understands these types of logs can perform special operations on logs, such as filtering, sorting based on the attributes. Why Serilog? In .NET space, there are few libraries like nlog, log4net, and of course Serilog. Comparing the features of all the libraries is out of scope of this video. But the main reason for choosing Serilog is that because it is newer, it supports structured logging out of the box, and there is a lot of support for Serilog in the community, leading to a lot of extensions and logging syncs. Serilog can be used in classic .NET framework applications and for applications running on latest and greatest .NET 6 or .NET 7 beta. I have used Serilog in almost every .NET application I have developed, and I was very happy with the results. I like the simple integration of Serilog into .NET applications, the ease of use, and how simple it is to start using it. Let's create an API and integrate Serilog. Open Visual Studio, click on Create a New Project, select ASP.NET Core Web API, click on Next, give project a meaningful name, for example, Serilog Example. You can change the location and solution name if you like to, click on Next. Uncheck configure for HTTPS and uncheck enable open API support. You can create. Once the project is ready, close the overview tab. And to start using Siri log, we have to install using uh, the package manager. So right click on the solution, select manage NuGet package, go to browse, search for Siri log ASP.NET Core. Select the first package in the list, click on install, click on OK, click I accept. And once the package is installed, close the package manager and go into program.cs file and import using serilog namespace and for the builder.build line type builder.host dot use serilog and in between the brackets another set of brackets type context and another second parameter is logger config lambda expression logger config dot write to dot console brackets save the project run the project and let's see what kind of logs we are getting So as you can see, we are starting to get some logs and uh, we are also seeing logs which are not even captured by the default logger. So as you can see, these logs are plain text, so you cannot do any kind of manipulation or any kind of analysis on it. So let's add uh, or tell our logger to start using the structured loggings. Close the console to stop the project and in the console brackets type new JSON formatter brackets close and include using serilog dot formatter formatting not formatter dot JSON save it now run the project again and now in the console you can see the logs are in the structured format or they're much more better structured. 
as you can see there's time step included and uh, level and now we can take it to any kind of uh, logger and uh, we can do any kind of a uh, lot of manipulation on it or do kind of analysis on it let's configure additional syncs to view and analyze logging data in different ways there are too many syncs available to list but we are going to look at file sync this is useful when we don't want to ship the logs directly over http or https and want something else to ship the log files or logs for example to datadog we can use datadog agent to ship the logs to datadog from files to set up the sync we just need to install the package so let's close the console to stop the project right click on steady log project and go into the package manager and search for steadylog.sync.file select the first package now click on install click ok close the package manager and right here in the same use steady log line type write to dot file and the path of the file for example c backslash logs slash steady log example.txt save it and now let's run it fix this issue i'm missing one slash here now save it run it and let's go to the folder and see the log file backslash logs as you can see the log file is there open it in any text editor as you can see the logs are being written to the log file but as you can see these logs are not structured uh, they are plain text so we cannot analyze or do any kind of manipulation to on these logs so let's go and write uh, fix it or change the code to write the structured log into the file close this stop the execution of the project and before uh, the file path type new json matter and capital F capital T and now let's run the project and let's examine the log file again open it in an in-text editor and now you can see that logs are written in a structured format that's how you add structure logging uh, using seri log to console or to uh, a file sync and there are other syncs as well which we can be used so in conclusion we have looked at uh, how easy it is to get a structured logging setup using seri log in esp.net 4 there are a lot of syncs available for seri log we have only touched the surface of the possibilities of seri log i encourage you to read up on the extra things can be done to make the logging even better that's all for this video i hope this video was helpful and if you find this video useful please subscribe as always if you have any questions comments or feedback please leave them below click that like button likes are always appreciated please subscribe to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded thanks for watching i'll see you in next video